Hey guys, welcome to my channel. And today we will be making three Disney movie foods and I have my laptop right here for the recipes and let's get to it. So the first thing we're making is Kronk spinach puffs from the Emperor's New Groove. We're going to need puff pastry, spinach, dill. I don't have it, so we're using parsley. I don't have shallots either, so red onions would do. Garlic, cream cheese, feta cheese, parmesan, bacon, eggs, olive oil, salt, and pepper. So I already chopped up um, some red onions and some parsley. And now this is three cups of spinach. So we're just gonna cut it up. I'm an idiot. That is not three cups of spinach. I feel like I'm a master chef for now Just like teaching you guys how to cook when in reality I can't cook I'm just gonna cut some spinach So I have my spinach and my red onion and my parsley and we're gonna throw this <laughs> Just kidding. Actually if I actually threw that I would probably cry um, into the pan over there. So now in a fresh pan, we're just gonna put some, actually I'm gonna heat it on first. Grab some, and I have my chopsticks just to help. Um, my red onions, which I replaced for the shallots, and then I would just dump it in here. It says to cook for about two minutes. I can cook. It will come out fine, but the process will be like super bad or like completely wrong. So maybe, <laughs> I'm not even showing you guys like the right thing to do. So we're going to add some garlic in here. And it says saute about 30 seconds or until you smell it. It looks so burnt. Oh my god. Um, I'm just going to put like a little bit of more olive oil in. Ow. Okay, that looks about good. So now we're going to add in our spinach. <laughs> So the camera cut off at this point. I just put the parsley, salt, and pepper in, but I got the bacon. And now we're gonna make the cheese mixture for it. So we're gonna need four ounces of cream cheese, half a cup of feta cheese, and now we're going to do two to four ounces of Parmesan. Okay, um, yep. And now we're going to get a spoon and then mix this all together. This is like my favorite spoon. I don't know why. <laughs> Anyways, um, we're just gonna mix this cheese together. I have no upper body strength at all. Once it is mixed, I'm going to chop up some bacon. Oh my god, it's so good. I'm just going to toss it in my cheese mixture. We're going to add the cooked spinach mixture. I'm honestly so excited to eat this. Time separate in eight. I haven't done this in a while, but you know, I was a natural at it. Okay, um, so I cleaned up the area and I cleared everything out, and now I have flour and a puff pastry, puff pastry sheet. Okay, so I read to lightly flour, it's not exactly light, it's fine. What's it called? Width, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah, so the width of each one of these um, thingies, what the, oh my god, I'm forgetting my words. <laughs> so the width of each one of these rectangles are already three inches, so I'm just going to measure down about four inches. So let's see. If I had put this on a cutting board, this would be a whole lot cleaner. Well, you know, I feel like a chef right now using the table, and you know, that's all that matters, you know. So I lined a baking tray with crushing paper. Now we're gonna make egg wash. The fork, I'm going to beat it. Now I'm just going to like crimp it up. Now I'm gonna pop this in the fridge for 10 minutes and I'll be back soon. So I took it out of the fridge already and I'm just gonna brush on some of the egg wash I made and then put it in the oven. Came out of the oven. It honestly looks really good and it smells super good too. Um, it is a bit on the crispy side. Um, let's go. This is pretty good. I can't really taste the spinach that much. The flakiness of like the pastry and just like the filling is, is really creamy and it's super good. Like. There's not a distinct flavor in it, and I like how everything just combines so evenly. But I can't describe like what it tastes like, but 
tastes super good. So I would definitely recommend. Next, we're gonna make the gray stuff from Beauty and the Beast and the original recipe makes 12, but I have one cookie left. So we're cutting that in half. We're going to need milk, instant vanilla pudding mix, Oreos, whipped topping, instant chocolate pudding mix, and sugar cookies. We're gonna need our vanilla pudding mix and we need 1.7 ounces. So it equals 3.4 tablespoons. So I'm just gonna put that in. Oh, a bowl. That looks like a half. <laughs> I was just gonna say how I'm surprised nothing has gone wrong, but you know now, now I'm not anymore. Next, we are going to need three fourths cups of whole milk. We are going to mix it with our electric mixer. I've had this for years, so I love it. I've whisked it for two minutes. It looks. Oh, well, looks quite thick. So now we're gonna put this in the fridge for one to two hours. I have taken the vanilla pudding mix out. It's pretty firm. I don't have a grinder, so I'm gonna use my blender. I cut the recipe in half. So I have seven and a half cookies right here. And we're just going to blend it up. So this is as fine as it can go. It looks like soil, so I feel like that's really fine enough. We're going just to toss this in with our vanilla pudding mix. So it looks like that. So we're going to put in one and a half tablespoons of chocolate pudding mix. And we're also going to put in four ounces of our topping. Slice it in middle. You know, geometry helped a lot. But English didn't. I'm finished mixing it and this is how it looks like. So I'm going to leave this in the fridge for about an hour. So it's been about an hour now. Kind of like frosting or whipped cream in a way. I don't have a packing bag, so I'm going to use a sandwich bag. And I'm just going to put this in and then cut it and then frost it on my cookie. It looked like someone pooped on my cookie. I'm not mad at it. So this is the finished product. Now we're going to try it. Don't even know how to... Okay, I'm just going to... Okay. Hmm. It tastes like Oreo ice cream on a cookie. It's really good if you like Oreos. It's super easy to make too. And it jiggles. <laughs> it's a big thumbs up. And the last bit we're going to make is Tiana's beignets. So I'm super excited. I'm also super exhausted. We're going to need dry yeast, water, sugar, vegetable shortening, or butter, salt, heavy cream, egg, all-purpose flour, boiling water, vegetable oil, honey, and powdered sugar. So first, we're going to put one eighth cup of warm water in a small bowl one fourth teaspoon of yeast over it and mix it together we're going to set this aside for about five minutes so now we're going to combine all these together so we will need one eighth cup of sugar one tablespoon of butter one fourth teaspoon of salt one fourth cup of heavy cream i'm just going to use the one eighth cup and then just do twice of them or two twice as them two two times them two of them sorry like it's like late my brain is not functioning like at all right now next is half an egg because i split this whole recipe in half so everything's half the original recipe linked in the description will have the entire recipe which makes two dozen beignets i just couldn't eat that much i don't know how to go with this um i guess i just do that right okay two cups of all-purpose flour so I just clean everything up a bit and I have boiling water. We will need about one fourth cup of this. I don't have a dough hook, so I'm gonna use a spoon and start kneading it. Now we're just going to add in the yeast mixture that we made earlier. So we're just going to use our hands and just wash them and we're just gonna go in and form like a dough. Just to let you guys know, it is currently 1.44 a.m. So I just, you know, wanted to, yeah. I'm going with the flow and just pretending or just seeing what I think it is about. Um, you guys are actually do want it turn out like super good. Like they show you. I will definitely watch the video. I don't know why I didn't watch it. So I'm currently saran wrapping um, the dough and just leaving it to rest for 30 minutes. So see you guys then. The dough has rested for 30 minutes. Now I'm going to dump it out and roll it into a two by three size with one quarter thickness. 
and this is how it looks like right now. I don't know if this is supposed to look like this. Looks pretty squishy and it sounds bouncy, so it's a good sign, I think. So we're just gonna dump this out. I'm honestly just gonna wing it. Now I'm gonna cut this two by three. This is my first piece. So I'm done cutting it into two by threes and this is how it turned out. I'm actually really proud of myself. Um, so now we're gonna put it in a warm place for about an hour, an hour and a half. And let's check back in later. So it's been about an hour and a half. As you can see, the time is 4.11 and I don't know how I'm still awake. But I am. So we're just going to use our chopsticks, hee <laughs> hee. And then we're just gonna put it in the oil to fry. It looks super good and it smells really good. So let's dig in. Oh my God, that's so good. So like pillowy inside. I was so exhausted, but this is a big thumbs up and I look like a monkey. And that concludes our Disney movie foods. Again, thank you so much for watching. It's probably a bit long, but I wanted to make it really special for you guys. I really hope you guys enjoy this. If you guys like to leave a thumbs up as well, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my. The egg crack.